Hey y'all, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? I hope all is well with you. Today we're covering Love and Marriage Huntsville. We have a sneak peek of Saturday, this upcoming Saturday's episode. And baby, whoo, it does not disappoint. But before we get into it, please take this time to like and subscribe to this channel. Now let's get into it. Because Mark. Marceau called himself trying to call out Mel, asking when she ever took ownership of anything. When has she ever taken accountability? And I have those very receipts for you, Marceau. You ask for one, I'll give you two, and then some. Now let's get into it. What y'all did do, let's have a real conversation about it. When that thing happened, it took the two of you to call me and say, I don't think you understand what happened, let's fill you in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's when I said, well, we have to do, really discuss it. And that's when we all said, in order for this show to move forward with this very sensitive issue, y'all have to really talk about it. And that's how the comeback group meeting came. And it was nice to see the six of y'all meet up with each other to talk about it. I have a question. How could it have been a calm conversation when you was on live? Yeah. I'm definitely not about to respond to nobody who sat up here and defended her mama for talking about my kids back, back to back to back. So, I, so I definitely ain't about the to sit here is, and respond to her. I told her it's not right, but because I know my mom, I know her heart, I understand some of the things she said, how she say things. I didn't think I was talking about a child. I just said, go find your baby daddy. I'm sorry I said that part, but she came to me wrong. Melody, she just apologized. How do you feel about what Wanda said in her apology? I'm good on I'm slick with when it comes to the apology. She apologized because you gave her the opportunity to. She don't believe she did nothing wrong. She don't feel like she was saying what we all heard her say. None of that. Honestly, Wanda and I, the conversation we had could have gone differently. So, you know, it is what it is. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody feels how they feel. Let me ask you this, Melody. Based on that incident and based on tonight, do you see a world where you are able to move forward with everybody? Never. Mm -mm, never. Nope. We're trying to operate in a, in a place where people aren't willing to be honest, where people aren't willing to be held accountable, so responsibility is just not... No. Have you ever held accountability for anything, Melody, ever? Like, I'm talking to Carlos, I don't hear I'm nobody you. but you. But I, I would love for the conference to take the role back and say, Melody, ever yeah. held accountability okay. for anything, ever, so. in any situation. What do you have to say to that? He's entitled to his own opinion. He don't even really know me like that, but it's cool. You <laughs> can't find... <laughs> Anything I mean, that she's ever taken accountability for. Mm -hmm. I'll stand okay. on that. You, I better find out to a bucket of she can. You can stand on that. Matter of fact, so, I'll be hard pressed to find anybody on the stage. Because I know that you can love find me. Out. You love for me to sit up here and say that things I said have been lies and I've been making up all this stuff. Nope. I'm not going to take accountability for something one that thing. ain't. I said that's one true. thing. Somebody... Now, Marceau, you said, can someone name one time that she's ever taken accountability? Just one time. I want my money, Marceau. Here's, here's your one time. Is there an apology that makes it better? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to hurt your feelings. I like that, actually. And I can do that. You know, for me, I will say that I apologize to you for things I've said that have been hurtful to you. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to bring another woman pain or hurt. So I do apologize. I'm kind of sure. And Marceau, I'll raise your one and double it. I yeah. hate to see us at this place, too, before we took the break. I felt like I wanted to cry because I'm like, this is a lot. So I get her feeling that. And I'm sorry that you feel that, you know? Um, because like you said, we were close friends that hung out all the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I apologize for my, you know, involvement in the friendship not going the way it should go. You know, because at the end of the day, I can be honest and say, yeah, I've said some things too that were hurtful. And, you know, I apologize for that. That's never, that was never my intention is for us to be at this place. Well, thank you, Mel, for apologizing. Mm -hmm. I received that. Yeah. I do. That, that seemed heartfelt, too. Yeah, yeah. And I definitely... Did you forget that, Marceau? You were sitting right there. But you know what? I need you to stop with this facade. 
because you know exactly who it is that doesn't take ownership or accountability for their actions. Yeah, you know, your wife. And I'll further prove that because you've said it on multiple occasions. become warm. I gave Tisha misunderstood um, because when I think back to where I think our friendship started to break down and deteriorate, it was all because of a misunderstanding. She told me that she thought that I had a problem with her because I wasn't available. I wasn't hanging like I would or me and her getting together doing things. I didn't have a problem with you then at all. I had my own going on. And so, yeah, I feel like that, that misunderstanding really started a whole lot of stuff. All right. What is your response to that? Um... I feel like it's BS. And this was your response to this, Marcel. I wanted to talk to you about, you know, we had the women's retreat, right? Destiny's whole point was to bring us together so we can try to resolve whatever is going on. You know, I decided to go because, you know, we had the Brown Girl event and the energy I thought was good there. So I was like, sure, I go to the retreat. For me, Mel and Kimmy, it reminded me of old times. Like, we just used to get together and have a good time. Right foot on red. Now that's tough. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like relaxing, like spa, dinner, wine. And then Destiny pretty much like sprung the conflict resolution on us. Mel said she felt that when our friendship started deteriorating, it was about her not being around me as much and not reaching out to me as much because she was so busy. She just got super, super busy. And it wasn't about me. It was just about her building her brand. Okay. Yeah. Wrong with that? I call BS on it. And I think I just... Messed up the whole event after that. To me, I feel like Mel's a liar. I can't move forward with her until she what? she's honest about it. So this. let me ask you question. Do you want to move forward with her? I thought I did. Like why? I don't want a friendship. I just don't want us to, I don't want I just don't want us to be arguing. So why'd you start an argument? I didn't start the argument. In what world would you ever respond positively to someone saying, I think that's BS? What you're saying is I want to get past the arguing, but you're starting to arguing. But it's like, if you said that you want to move forward, but you're not taking any ownership, it's difficult to do that. It's really difficult to do that. I'm sorry, Tisha. You are talking about Tisha right now. No, I'm not. No, babe. You what are have I not taken ownership of? This right here, right now. You're still not taking ownership of it. You made the comment. You did that. So I should have not called her a liar. And that's not the only time that you told Tisha she needs to take accountability where the other person is trying to take accountability and move on. Here is Exhibit D. I think we were invited. We're trying to build this relationship back up. I think we should go. I think you're drinking Melody Martell Kool-Aid. I think that Melody and Martell, the host hosting a game night, I think it's a step in the right direction. We want to get what we had once before, but we really want to get it organically. We don't want it to be forced. T, can yeah. I say something without you just jumping down my throat on this a little bit? Mm. I see somebody trying. I don't see you trying as hard, I guess. You see who trying? I tried, like, three times already. Oh, God. Do you take any accountability for anything? So, Marcel, to answer your question, I can show you time after time that Mel did hold herself accountable. She did apologize for her actions. But what you have to understand is, is that everyone gets sick and tired and when you're sick and tired of being the bigger person sick and tired of going through these cycles then yeah you're not gonna always get an apology out of me you're not gonna always get me to go back on what i said because i stand in what i said because i felt that at the moment and might currently feel it so marcel you need to turn to the person on the couch next to you and ask her, when has she ever been accountable for her actions and her mother's actions at that? What I don't like is that 
my mom is always on social media. And of course, every time she hears something, she's coming to me or she's talking to me about mail. And I'm like, mom, can we just stop? So you're saying that your mom is causing friction in your relationships? No. No, of course no. not. <laughs> I'm just saying, I had to apologize. And Kimmy at the party, too, because mm -hmm. I had to, again, apologize for my mom's behavior. No, I wanted to talk to you and just apologize for how my mom was, like, coming strong at the family get-together. You don't have to apologize for Wanda, and I got Wanda. You're apologizing to Kimmy on behalf of your mom. Mm -hmm. You're having issues with Mel on behalf of your mom. No, I'm having issues with Mel on behalf of Mel. Maybe you should have a conversation with your mom. And yeah. maybe in that conversation, you just tell her to shut the hell up. I will decide if and when my mom is out of line. Don't disrespect my mom. Because she always respects me. It doesn't matter, Marcel. She's my mother. OK, I'm your husband. I guess I can win this one. I've been handling it my way for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my mom. You know, we sort of grew up together. My mama had me at a young age. Babe, so... I so, you know what? If you can do me a favor, <sighs> if you can make the same amount of excuses for me as you do for your mom, that'd be dope. Okay, so you need to get this stuff, the rest of this stuff together in here, or you want me to leave now so you can do some work? I'm doing work, babe. I'm you working. look like you're sitting back with your legs kicked up. And then there's this. Is, is what your mom did out of character? Um, no. Okay, so if your mom, what she did was not out of character, then you invited your mom knowing that this is not surprising. It wasn't, but whenever we have things, I always bring my mom. I get that, but babe. She's family. And I this is my problem with you too, because you're always taking everybody else's side. No, I'm taking the side of the right. They know and are well aware that Wanda is the issue because they have had conversations about this time and time again. And as you see, Keisha, Tisha, whatever her name is, always makes excuses for Wanda. She never wants to own up to the fact that Wanda is wrong. Even in the clip, it's always a but. She wrong, but... When you say but, you're justifying. At that point, you're no longer taking ownership. Let it be that. And then allow the other person to take ownership if that's what they decide to do. But all you can do is take ownership on your side, on your end. And she refuses to take that or allow her mother to take it. She makes excuse after excuse after excuse. And this is exactly why they're in the same position still years later and wanda will continue to be wanda ratchet and tacky but that's all i have for y'all in this one i'll catch y'all in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later peace Listen, I like chocolate girl all shades different flavors she a diamond and a pearl she a goddess with a mentor, yeah Cinnamon swirl She relate to what I've been through, yeah Queen of my world